stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. Today I just wanted to share the love and show some fabulous Valentine's Day cards that you can make uh, for your loved ones or for your neighbor or for your kids classrooms or just any sort of little greeting. Um, you can always switch up the greeting or use it for um, any other occasion like wedding, anniversary, just because or anything like that. So today I used the Sealed With Love stamp set, which is in the 2017 Occasions mini catalog. This stamp set has so many fabulous, gorgeous greetings like the hearts and the little um, filigree image, and then also oodles of other greetings that you can use for all kinds of occasions. It doesn't have to be just Valentine's Day. You could use this all year long. I also used the Coordinating Sending Love Designer Series Paper. So this is a six by six pack and it comes with oodles and oodles of patterns. And all of them are real red and whisper white. So you know that they're all gonna match any of your red and white patterns. Um, as well as you can add in pops of color like Night of Navy or pinks or just about anything else. I also love that one side is a little bit more lovey-dovey Valentine's Day, and the other side is your generic stripes, polka dots, um, you know, just those things that you can use for all kinds of cards. So have no fear, when you get that pack, you can always use some of them for your lovey-dovey cards, but you can use the rest for all of your all occasion cards. So for these two cards, um, I made this one, we'll start with this one. This one is actually um, a piece of Whisper White, and that's our card base, and it measures eight and a half by four and a quarter. So it's a little bit smaller than your regular size card. You can see it's just a little bit smaller, but don't worry, it can still go in a regular medium size envelope. Um, and I did that so that all of my little four squares of designer series paper would match. So I'm just going to set that right there. So here I folded my four and a quarter by eight and a half in half. So then that makes a nice little four and a quarter square. Then I took some of the designer series paper and I cut out two inch squares. So I did two different pieces of paper. So there's, um, there's this one and you can see they're the same and then this is the back side. So you can see the back side is more, um, you know, one's more red, one's more white. So I just added my snail adhesive to each of those, and let's make sure I do all coordinating ones, and then just added them to my card. And I really struggled for a while trying to figure out whether it should go um, both of the words on bottom, red and white, red and white, and then red and white, red and white, or whether it should be red, red, white, white. So I mean, you can really play with that however you wish um, and, and coordinate that together. There's really no right or wrong way to do that. So then I'm just going to add these to my card and you can see there's just a small little border that's going to peek out around each of these. And again, just sort of lining it up with the one that's already there and offering that little border on the edge. Oop, it's stuck before I was ready. There we go. So there's your fabulous background. And then I used the amazing layering circles framelit dies to do um, the greeting. So I die cut both the scallop one and the circle one. And the super fun thing about this set is it has so many different options. And what you need to do, oh, here's a few extras that I had just sitting in there. What you need to do is just take your greeting and line it up and see which size you need to use. So once you find the one that you like in the regular solid, then you can just take that one and line it up with your circles um, that are scalloped and see whether you want a very small border or a very big border. You can really play with that however you wish until you find the perfect size for your greeting. So for my greeting, I just used the Happy Valentine's Day, and I inked it up in real red ink, and then stamped it down. And since it's photopolymer, you can see exactly where you're stamping. And there you have that fabulous Happy Valentine's Day. I'm just going to add this with regular snail adhesive to my scallop circle, but I'm going to use Stampin' Dimensionals to add it to my card. 
So now we're just going to pop that right in the center. How perfect, quick and simple, super fun. Now for this one, I used a regular Whisper White card base, and this one is um, five and a half by eight and a half, and then I folded it in half. And we're just going to use that long little detailed heart, um, and there's actually four hearts, but let me tell you, it's really hard to see where the break is, because since it's photopolymer, you can line those up oh so perfectly. So we're just going to ink this up in Night of Navy, and stamp it here along the bottom. And then again along the top. How fabulous is that? So there you have your fabulous little background border. And then I took some of the designer series paper and you could really pick any one that you want. And I cut two inches by five and a half inches um, for my little border there. So again, you can get three of those pieces from one sheet of the um, designer paper. And so you're just left with a little bitty um, half an inch that you have left over from that strip. Otherwise you use all of the rest of it. So I just added that right there to the middle. And then this strip of Whisper White measures one inch by five and a half inches. And I actually use the banner triple punch. So I just slid this in there until it goes all the way to the back and punch and put it in on the other end slide it in all the way and punch and that gives us those little banner details here on the end and then you can add your greeting to the middle so i used um, the hearts and the sending love greeting and you can either do it where i did sending love twice with the heart or like i'm going to do just to kind of mix it up a little bit i'm just going to do sending love right in the middle and then i'm going to do the hearts on either side in night of navy and you can always mix and match that however you wish. And then I actually put on the greeting, of course, with Stampin' Dimensionals. And now we're just going to add that right to the front of our card. So there we have that other fabulous card that was done super quick, super simple, and it is amazing. So there's two samples that you have that you can make for your Valentine's Day cards this season. I hope you enjoyed these. Of course, I'll be posting photos of these on my blog, laurastamppad.com, so you can check those out there. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're new, and check out some of my other tutorials that I have down below. I'll see you all next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.